All right, all right, all right, all right. We're back, we're back, we're back. That was Todd Trillard with Anyhow. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. It is January 5th, 2021. And this is what's in your news. We have a long road ahead of us for this new COVID relief plan that President Biden has placed in front of everyone. And um, there's some changes going on, but this budget reconciliation has been placed in motion from the House and the Senate. And it's moving pretty fast. And there's amendments going on right now. Committees are being set and planned and it's going to be moving pretty fast by March and their goal is to get it done and signed by mid-March or so and um, that's that 1.9 trillion dollar plan that President Biden has placed and since then the Republicans have countered offered with a 618 billion dollar plan which President Biden has said it's too small. And we can't make the mistake of not being big enough, but we can't make the mistake of being not big enough. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't be too big. You can never be too big, but you can always be too small. That's what he said. So, they're making a big deal out of that. And all of our past president attorneys have left him to run his trial by himself or get new attorneys and that trial is still going to happen next week just a piece of it anyway and then I believe that most of the hill will be on leave or break for about a week or so for President's Day or whatever event is coming up. I'd like to remind everybody it is February, which means it is Black History Month, which I should say to each and every one of you that every day is Black History, not just February. And I mean that it's our history, not just Black History. And... We have to acknowledge the fact that we have lost some great people. Like, you know him as Screech from Saved by the Bell. He just passed away at the age of 44 from cancer. And um, we also lost the guy from, he was the father on Sound of Music. He was 91 years old. Mr. Powell. Christopher Powell, I believe his name is. I don't know. I can't really quote his name. Um, But there's others. Um, Larry King, the great Larry King, who was a broadcast journalist and interviewed everybody over his years, passed away last week as well. And um, I know I'm missing a few other ones. I spoke on Hank Aaron last week. But we've, we're losing greats left and right here. And uh, hats off to the families. And my condolences. And uh, we have other news. Vaccines are very slim and trim and Demand can't be met right now, but Johnson & Johnson is trying to get approved within the next week to help help meet that demand. And uh, President Biden has signed an executive order to open super vaccine sites. And the NFL has opened up all the arenas to help vaccinate millions and millions of people. Um, 
Moving right along. Kamala Harris in the Senate has paid the way for the American Rescue Plan, which is the $1.9 trillion plan to move forward. And uh, both the House and the Senate have met with President Biden in the White House in the Oval Office and uh, they even put an all-nighter last night to pass a resolution to make sure that this keeps moving because it's a long process. So Kamala Harris had to break a tie last night. It was 50-51. Democrats because of her. Fox News decides to cancel Lou Dobbs' weekday business show. And Lou Dobbs has been around for years, y'all. Uh, come on now. That's 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 not a good thing. So if you you know who Lou Dobbs is, he's been canceled by Fox. Wow, that's that's crazy. Jennifer Lawrence suffered an injury while she was on set filming a Netflix picture. Don't look up. <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> she um. I believe she got cut with shattered glass. I'm trying to figure out what it is, she got, how she got hurt. They just said she was injured in an incident. But big ups to her, speedy recovery. A New Jersey man was kicked off a United flight for wearing a scuba style Norwal mask. Said he was told to replace his scuba style mask with a cough covering. Uh, I'm about to get one of those myself. He was not even allowed to board the plane. Well. That's crazy. United Airlines wouldn't even let him on. I'm about to get one of those. They're they're more efficient and you can see through them and everything, so I don't understand the issue, but you know they had certain masks that you can and you cannot wear. It's crazy. Quest Love's Summer of Soul breaks Boys State $12 million Sundance Doc Sales record in Searchlight and Hulu. And I believe that they were going to be virtual this year. Oh, that's what it is. Disney owned Searchlight and Hulu have acquired the Summer of Soul, the music documentation that is the directorial debut for Quest Love. Huh. So he he's moving on. He they done got him on Hulu and Searchlight, which is awesome. Big ups to Quest Love. Now we 
have a transgender WWE wrestler, Gabby Tuft, aka Tyler Reeks, is the very first wrestler to come out as transgender. He said, I don't expect everyone to agree or understand. It's not my place to change any of your core beliefs. Wow. So this is a woman that's going to change into a man. And she was used to be called Gabby Tuft. And now she's going under Tyler Rex. Or Reeks, one of them. I don't know. Okay, Senator Ben Sass says the GOP wants to censor him because he rejects its weird worship of Trump. I'm with Ben. I don't know what anybody else is doing, but they are hypnotized on the hill. I don't know what's going on. Why they let the say that man's name so much and why they miss him and don't want to do things to him. They know he's wrong. They could have been killed. Dead and they dag on grave and they still wouldn't want nothing to happen to that man. Because he caused it. You know, so I don't get it, but I'm with Ben on this one. All right, so now they're talking about the right to conceal and carry. I will can I will carry my Glock to Congress represent Bobert granted D.C. concealed carry permit. So now you got Congress carrying weapons into the Capitol. I can't say I really blame them, but that's just wow. They got a carry com- permit for him. Huh. All right. So... Let's see, what else? David Hogg says he's starting a pillow company. Taking on my pillows, Mike Linden. Well, Mike Lindell is done. I'm not, you no, know, we're going personal here. I'm stating a fact. That dude is done. If he's not done, he's about to make a lot of money. But I believe he's finished because of what has transpired when the other guy was in office. So if this guy takes over a pillow company, he's gonna he's gonna blow up really good. And he's already doing a heck of a job right now because he's a gun control activist and he's already out here, so people know his name, know who he is. He's also an entrepreneur, so yeah, he's going to blow up if he starts a pillow company. If Mike Lindell is still in play, then he's going to give him a run, definitely. All right. Shits Creek star Emily Hampshire to play Mary Hartman. Mary Hartman in remake of Norman Lear series. I don't know what Shits Creek is. But there's going to be a reboot of Mary Hartman. Y'all know who that is? Make sure y'all keep your eyes up. All right. Now, there has been a historic Mason County courthouse that has been destroyed by fire. They have the suspect in custody. 
man is in custody after a suspected arson at the historic Mason County Courthouse on Thursday. This happened yesterday, y'all. So, they call this guy an arsonist. San Diego man is reunited, reunited with a wallet he lost in Antarctica back in 1967. His response was he was just blown away. His name is Paul Graham. He was a Navy meteorologist in Antarctica when he lost his wallet in 1967. 67. Wow, that was over, what, 60 years ago, something like that? Over 60 years ago, I know it was. At least 60 years ago, put it that way. That's crazy. Former flight attendant. Landed a seven figure deal for two of her novels. Seven figures. That's a million dollars, y'all. Wow. And I believe I'm going to end on this note. Progressive Democrats unveil plan to cancel $50,000 in student loan debt. I'm one of those people that needs that, y'all. So if you need it, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I say yes. Let's do it. I just got some in the mail, I believe, just the other day. Just show how much money I owe. Just one company. And uh, that would cancel that out. You know what I'm saying? So let's knock that out. Straight up. I like that. I think that's what we're going to do it. I think that's all we have. And yes, and I spoke on this. His name was Christopher Plummer, y'all. He was Captain Von Trapp in Sound of Music. And um, he had a wonderful voice. And he started in other movies besides Sound of Music, but that one stuck with a lot of people, especially me. This is awesome. He was a Canadian actor. I didn't know he was from Canada. Amazing man. Condolences to his family. And that's going to do it for me, y'all, because I'm not going to keep going. Trying to get through my weekend and going to come back and give you a new song and if I forgot anything I'll let you know but this song has been in my spirit y'all this week so here is Travis Green with Just Want You this is your man DJ TJ this is Friday Night Live it is February the 5th 2021 we'll be right back